back to another video, Diamond on Demand here, and in today's video, it is, like I said in the previous uh, video I made with uh, Independence Day, which is the American Independence Day, 4th of July, I said I was going to make the Mexican flag, and I did, after I made that video, I immediately made the Mexican flag, but uh, I left it there and everything, and, and now that it's September 16th, I'm going to put the Mexican anthem or, and all that, and give some information on the Mexican independence. I would also like to apologize since this is probably one of the worst times to get a little allergies, but uh, I have side disinfection. It's been like this for the past week. It should not, oh, well, a little few, three days anyway, but it's always been a thing, so it's gonna be, you're gonna be hearing me doing that a lot, but no, just for a while. Anyway, I'm gonna give a few little stuff about, or facts about, what do you call it, um, Independence Day for Mexico. So, anyway. Uh, it was, it was actually like a dawn of September 2016 in 1810 that the call for independence rang out for the first time in the town of Dolores, Mexico. Early that morning, a priest named Miguel Hidalgo ran the church bell to call his people together. When the people gathered, Father Hidalgo climbed into the pulpit and shouted out the words that have only, uh, have come to be called El Grito de Dolores. The cry from Dolores. Viva la independencia! Viva la independencia! Viva Mexico! Those were his words. As news of the cry from Dolores spread, men came from the fields and silver mines to fight for independence. They came armed with sticks, stones, slingshots, and machetes. Machetes. Few of them had guns but they were willing to fight with their bare hands if they must. The struggle for freedom from Spain had begun. While Mexico did not win its independence until 1821, 11 years after his call, Hidalgo became a national hero. He is remembered as the father of the Mexican Revolution. The town of Dolores was named, Dol uh, named Dolores Hidalgo. In his honor, the bell, rang. the bell he rang is now in the National Palace in Mexico City, and there's one of the... I can't do this. I'm in the dark. I have a sinus infection. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, it's part of my homework, so I'm kind of reading, technically, the history. Anyway, the hell... I mean, uh, the bell he rang is now a National Palace in the National Palace in Mexico City, and is one that the President of Mexico rings on the night of September 15th. So, every year, September 15th, and the president of Mexico, which I got to see yesterday, but not in person, but like in TV. Anyway, uh, they make a ceremony until 12 p.m., but the president comes out on the on the balcony with a flag, and he starts yelling, Viva Mexico! Viva La Pedencia! Viva! What do you call it? All that stuff. And then he starts waving the flag with the Spanish anthem. Now, in the Spanish anthem, I... I I went yesterday as well to um, my downtown plaza. I made a video on my other channel about it. I was playing Pokemon Go. Anyway, we did have the pledge, and since I'm not fully Mexican, or not the pledge, I'm sorry, they have their anthem as well, but anyway, since I'm not fully Mexican, I'm Latino or Hispanic, I have Spanish parents, and they all came, they were all born in Pielgas in Mexico. Sorry, Pielgas is a city nearby. Anyway, they were all born in Mexico. I live on the border, but I was born here in the United States, and I'm. English, like, well, I have English blood from my grandparents and everything, but, you know, to mix up Hispanic, so, this month is also, this month is also Hispanic month or something like that, so, I'll, I'll get more to detail after that, anyway, after a while, someday, anyway, today, um, this is just the Independence Day video with the, uh, fireworks and the flag that I made for Minecraft with the anthem, and then at the end, I'll tell you a few more things, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you right now.
hopefully you guys enjoyed that um i went along with the same size of the american flag i made for fourth of july right behind um what do you call it where i am is the actual american flag so um there it is and also people are probably wondering why did i put like a little wall thing next to it um i had put that because of what do you call it well because i was gonna make like a whole entire little mexican like entire like colony or like yeah sort of like that like just little civilization in front of the flag making like a whole entire little stuff having to do with like stuff that's an actual mexican tradition and i was gonna do that the same thing over here the american side but i never like um I never started doing that or completed it, so it's just like one little wall there, and people are like, oh, no, you're Trump. No, I am not a Trump person. And then the ego of the flag, I did my best. Like, I remember when I was doing this, I put so much effort into making it look the same. It doesn't look like the flag because there's, like, little missing stuff, but, you know, it's Minecraft. I tried, and it was in gold with the huge giant ones that you see on YouTube and everything. But um, that's it for uh, today's video. Video of Mexico. Lol. Uh, but uh, I am Hispanic and all that and I did this video because I live near Mexico and also want like you know to put it on because it's part of my heritage as well like I have the Mexican heritage I I um uh, you know I am half Mexican Latino you know Hispanic but anyway I did it because I wanted to and you know it's part of it it's for entertainment guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I am um uh, like I said, sick, so I'll probably be up like uploading maybe a few videos like this, whatever. The allergy, sinus infection, I mean, it kind of lasts a while. It's been raining a lot, so that's why it's been raining a lot. And then, um, hopefully you guys just enjoyed, I guess. I'll be making another flag for next year, I guess. So, you know, I really like want to continue every year making another one, I guess, to keep this tradition. Unless I'll start moving to a different game and also have that, or actual real one. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys just enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace. By the way, before I leave, um, it, it was for a few questions, this was the official long, the full version of the national Mexican, the Mexican national anthem. So it means it's like exactly five minutes or something like that. The real one, or I mean, that's that's the real one. But in other ways, like for most of you who are Mexican, you guys do know that there's a shorter one because it has been shortened up. That's what we like yesterday when I went to the park to think um i didn't put that in the video i know for sure but yesterday when i went there they put the national anthem but it was short it was like a minute but uh that's because they shortened it up but the official one is the one you guys heard today if you guys want to like links in description to it because i'll probably put it uh a link in description to that what do you call it um video and this flag as well guys it was made exactly by myself last year when i made the american flag i kind of used youtube vi uh, videos but this one, I literally went myself along and did it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was really nice. It's cool. And everything. And um, yeah. Just to let you know as well. Links in the description for everything. Just look there guys. It'll be awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.